Breaking news tonight on Capitol Hill, an historic night full of chaos and high drama. After 14 failed attempts, California Republican Kevin McCarthy was finally voted Speaker of the House in the wee hours. His leadership position puts him third in line to the presidency. But the night involved public displays of arm twisting and a near physical altercation between congressmen on the House floor. All the drama unfolding over four long days of closed door negotiations. Broad concessions were made toward the hardline conservative rebels. Florida Representative Matt Gates, a longtime holdout, flipped his anti McCarthy vote to vote present, along with several other never Kevins, clearing the way for Kevin McCarthy to win the votes needed to secure the job. This has been the longest protracted speaker battle in 164 years. Truly dramatic. Kevin McCarthy spoke moments after the final tally. That was easy, huh? <laughs> and now the hard work begins. What we do here today, next week, next month, next year, will set the tone for everything that follows. I will work with anyone and everyone who shares our passion to deliver a better future for the nation. I hope you'll join me. As a Congress, we can only operate if we cooperate. My door will be open. I'd like you to come by. Let's go now to ABC News political director Rick Klein, who's been monitoring the proceedings all week. Rick, what do you make of this historic evening? Well, it didn't happen without some real drama on the House floor, including a near physical altercation involving one of the harshest McCarthy critics, Matt Gates, and a rank and file member who's been very supportive of Kevin McCarthy. Uh, it happened at the tail end of round, uh, of round 15 of the voting, where it looked like McCarthy was about to get the votes. And in fact, he didn't get the votes. And when it became clear what was going on, what these holdouts were doing, uh, you saw emotions absolutely erupt in the House floor, a scene that I've never witnessed before. And it forced every Everyone to recalibrate, bring things He's back. Arrogant. Cooler heads then did prevail. Another round of voting, and the final results, as we've seen tally, do make Kevin, Kevin McCarthy the Speaker of the House at long, long last. Rick, there was a particularly dramatic moment when Marjorie Taylor Greene stepped over, seeming to hand a telephone over to one of the holdouts. Uh, and on the screen, it said DT. There seems to be a lot of discussion around that particular point of rallying. Yeah, we know how close that Marjorie Taylor Greene is to the former president. We also know, based on our reporting, that the former president talked to several of the holdouts on the floor after that uh, thwarted next-to-last vote and before that final vote, convincing it would appear at least some of them to vote present rather than to vote uh, against McCarthy. That has the effect of changing the magic number, of reducing the number of votes that Kevin McCarthy needed to get. Uh, in the end, there were six that did not vote for Kevin McCarthy, but because they didn't vote for another candidate, McCarthy was able to win with slightly less than a full majority of the entire House. And as we discussed, Rick, this follows uh, four days of open division among the Republican rank and file with the hardline conservatives holding out. And we know that broad concessions were made uh, in, in order to to win this speakership, give us a sense of what McCarthy had to give up in order to win the gavel. Uh, yeah, Juju, we saw some major changes to the way that the House is going to operate. For starters, any one member is going to be able to, at any time, for any reason, call for an up or down vote on the leadership of the speaker. Uh, it means that it's the shortest of leashes that you can possibly imagine. They are also making a commitment to uh, putting on the floor a, a vote that would balance the budget. In addition to that, uh, they're, open, they're opening up um, some of the spending bills to all manner of amendments for any, any member of Congress to, to, to make an offer like that. Uh, it's an extraordinary concession of the centralized power of the speaker. And, and keep in mind that this vote for the speaker was supposed to be the easy part. Uh, Kevin McCarthy had to fight hard to get to the speakership that he has now finally won. And he is going to have to fight maybe even harder to keep that speakership because of some of these concessions that he has been forced into. Let's talk about some of the historic nature of this evening's proceedings, because not only was it the most protracted um, vote for speakership in more than 150 years, it also was a lot of high drama and tension spilling out onto the into the public eye. What does this say about, you know, the future of this particular Congress and, and how things unfolded and the drama that we saw uh, in front of our eyes? 
We saw things devolve into utter chaos and confusion. Uh, members of Congress who appear not to have been that good at math at one point seemed like they thought that Kevin McCarthy was going to get the votes uh, when Matt Gates decided to vote present rather than to vote for another candidate. But as word reached them that, in fact, he was going to fall short, you saw Kevin McCarthy march up the aisle to, Matt, to, to, to Congressman Gates, uh, confront him, and then, uh, yes, a, a, an ugly moment where it appeared that another member of Congress was lunging at him and it had to be restrained physically. It is an absolutely ugly and chaotic scene that does portend what we're looking at, not just in divided government, where the House is controlled by one party, the Senate and the White House by the other, but by divisions inside one branch of that, uh, of the, of that government, just inside the legislative branch, to have these divisions laid bare by the ruling party, by the Republican Party, just gives a little glimpse of how difficult it's going to be to govern in a divided America. I want to bring in now Rachel Scott, our, our congressional correspondent. Give us a sense, Rachel, of what it took to strong arm the, the Never Kevins, that hardline coalition that had been holding out against the speaker. And, and what did you see? What did you witness on the floor tonight? Juju, let me tell you, this was a dramatic finish to a bitter and contentious fight, one that we have not seen play out in American history in 164 years. Kevin McCarthy able to clinch the speaker's gavel tonight, but it took making several key concessions. Uh, one of the most important ones is what we call the motion to vacate, which essentially would make it easier to force a vote to remove the speaker of the House. Kevin McCarthy lowered that threshold to just a single lawmaker be able to force that vote, that will certainly mean that he is entering leadership in a weaker position than he would have if he did not make that concession. We know that he's also promised votes on key bills like border security as well as term limits. And for conservative members, they wanted more representation. They wanted more power on key committees. And so we also made that promise to them as well. But we have been watching this moment by moment. I have not seen anything in this battle for speaker unlike anything that I just witnessed not too long ago where you had members exchanging words. You had finger pointing. You had one a member having appear to have Donald Trump on the phone trying to wrangle and get together to build some type of consensus because they wanted to get this done today. McCarthy was so confident heading into this, so much so that he had one member who just had a baby and another member who was not feel, feeling well come back here to Washington, D.C. in order for this to happen. And so tonight, this is a major victory for for Republican leader Kevin McCarthy, now the next Speaker of the House. But again, what we saw, the bitter, the divisiveness, the razor-thin majority that he now holds, uh, that is going to be an immense challenge for him going forward, Juju. Rachel, thank you so much for your reporting this evening. Kevin McCarthy officially voted in as Speaker of the House, third in line to the presidency, the grandson of a cattle rancher, the son of a firefighter, the California congressman beginning a new era in Congress this evening. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.